If you want to know how many rental properties it will take for you to be able to retire from your job, then don't go anywhere because I am going to show you how owning cash flowing rental homes can change your life. Owning rental properties is a time-tested investment vehicle that can benefit investors in several ways. A few reasons would be things like tax advantages, an increase in your net worth, and probably the most popular reason would be positive cash flow. Today, I am going to focus most on positive cash flow and how that relates to owning rental properties and also how it relates to being able to retire from your job. Now, before I dive into all the details and examples, I need you to click the subscribe button and make sure that you stay until the end of this video because by the end, you should be able to know how much cash flow and how many rental properties you will need in order to be able to retire from your job. <clears throat> okay, now like I said earlier, there are several reasons why people buy rental properties. We're only going to focus on the positive cash flow aspect because most investors are looking for positive cash flow. Now, for a lot of working class people, the days of working for a company for, say, 20 to 30 years and retiring with a pension is a thing of the past. And with today's average employee and the standard contributions to your 401k, it may not be enough to support you in retirement or even allow you to even retire at the age of 65 years. Now, I did a quick Google search to see what the average income for upper middle class is. And according to the Pew or PEW Research Center, from 2016, that number is 187,000. And for middle class, it is 78,000. For this example, we're going to go with a base annual income of about 125,000, as I would say that most of the investors that I have worked with and helped buy properties over the years will fall into this category. Now, most people who become real estate investors, if wanting to retire from their job is one of the main driving factors for them to buy rental property, they want to be able to at least replace their income. So that we need to now figure out how many properties will that need or what will that look like and what will the cash flow be so that this person can retire. Now, according to Nuvo.com, they have a tax calculator and for a person living in New York who makes say $125,000 a year, they will pay in a total of $38,000 in taxes, leaving them with $87,000 left over. Now we are going to figure out how many homes will be needed to make a gross $125,000 in yearly cash flow. Now I live in Memphis, Tennessee, which is one of the more desirable markets for out of state investors who are looking for cash flow. An average property that I would typically sell for say $100,000 will rent out in the $975 per month range. If you buy this home using conventional financing with 20% down and say $5,000 in total closing fees, you will be out of pocket on average $25,000 per property. Conventional financing allows you to have 10 total mortgages. So if you have a mortgage on your primary residence, you can now get nine more conventional loans. Now, once you go for, for the fifth mortgage, five through 10, you will have to put down 25% as your down payment. Now, running these numbers on, on this property using an interest rate of 5% on a 30-year loan, factoring 8% monthly property management fees, $500 annual insurance policy, and an estimated $1,200 in annual taxes, property taxes, that is, you're looking at about $325 in gross monthly cash flow. Now, this number would change if you considered additional factors like vacancy and repairs allowances, but to keep these numbers simple, we're just going to stick with $325 per month, which annually is $3,900. Now, nine properties at $3,900 per property will bring you $35,100 annually. You also do not have any conventional mortgage spots available now, so you will now have to get alternative financing. In most cases, you can get commercial financing, uh, but you'll still have to put down 25% plus closing cost, and now the loan is, say, a 20-year loan. Now, you just cut your monthly cash flow by about $90, which now offers monthly cash flow at $260 per month 
or 3120 per year. Based on these projections, I calculate that you will need to own roughly 40 properties to generate close to $128,000 in annual gross income. Now, there are a lot of factors that could alter these numbers, but to keep it simple, 40 homes should be enough to replace a $125,000, excuse me, $125,000 annual salary. Now, for the average person, it will take a long time to be able to acquire this many homes, especially if you have to put down 20 to 25 percent down payment on every home. Now, there are other creative ways to purchase this many homes using a creative purchase strategy called the BRRRR strategy, or B-R-R-R-R. It stands for Buy, Renovate, Rent, Refinance, and Repeat. I'll put a link at the end of this video to, so that you can see another video that I did which explains exactly how this strategy works. It's the exact same strategy that I have used personally to purchase 31 single family rental homes that I own personally. Now, I'm about to wrap this up, but I hope you have a better understanding on how the cash flow works and how you could replace your salary with positive cash flow from rental properties. Now, I'd love to hear what you learned from this video, so please, please leave a comment below and do not forget to click that like button. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video.